Hello and welcome back to our online training sessions. Today we will be uh, discussing and going through uh, certificates on a Windows environment. So this is uploading certificates, how to log into the certificate store and how to um, upload certificates and move certificates around the store. So first to upload the certificates you need to launch the management console so you can click on that by searching here MMC uh, and if it doesn't appear here you can actually right click uh, on the start button and click run and type MMC and this will pretty much work in all Windows servers it's the same command the MMC which stands for Microsoft Management Console once we launch the management console you just need to go into file click file and click add snap in from this snap in you can we need to cho choose uh, certificate services so you can actually snap into other con uh, uh, features as well but we're, we're in specific looking at certificates so you click in certificate you click let me do that again to show if we highlight certificate click add so highlight certificate and click add and then you want to choose the computer account you can use the others if there's a specific reason to, to go into the others but really you want to go into the certificate uh, computer management computer account store click next and uh, you can connect to another computer by choosing this if, it, if that was allowed by here we're connecting on the server itself so you just click next and finish now you see that's added there <coughs> we just click add ok and that will add the certificate store once we expand the certificate local so we know that's running on the local machine um, you see the stores that are, are, are present so all the certificates are visible from 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 the from this console. Generally, if you upload a certificate, it will generally be uploaded by default into the personal store. But there are other stores which um, can be used as as necessary. For example, the trusted root certificate. So this is where the root certificates, for example, would go. And other third-party certificates you can put in there. Web hosting certificates you could put into there. What we're going to do is upload a certificate today and then and make it appear in the certificate store here and then to see how to use it within IIS. Um, I have a certificate which um, which was purchased uh, so we click this will come as a P PFX format and PFX format is a Windows uh, Microsoft format and that is the best format to, for the certificate but even if the certificate is in P, .p12 format that's still okay and you can upload it any other s formats would probably need a conversion which is beyond the scope of this video uh, to upload a certificate it's quite simple uh, when you get the certificate to open up the store the certificate is actually inside the certificate store so this certificate store is called PFX format. So we need to, and, and this password protected. Uh, so we just double click and that will launch uh, this. Uh, we click on current user just to show the, that the, what certificates are present. You can see there's no certificate there apart from the a zero certificate. There's no other certificate there at the moment. So once we upload it, we, we will get this uh, certificate appear. Now, when you click uh, at this at this location uh, and at this uh, dialog box you want to click local machine you don't want to use it you don't want you do not want to upload the certificate as a local current user the reason being that the then the certificate will only be valid for the current user we want it to be valid for all accounts you know for everybody to be able to use it so it, it goes into a local machine we click next and uh, and here we're specifying where we want to 
import the certificate to where, where it is. So the file is obviously here. So we, we don't need to change this because that's where it is. You just click, click next here. Double clicking on that opens up this dialog box. So if you're clicking not from the certificate, this might not appear. So then you need to specify where the certificate is. But because we clicked on the certificate itself, it's um, it's already f populated the, the field. We click next here and now it will ask for a password which I will type in we want to leave the certificate um, clicking this button will just display the password um, which I don't want to do uh, mark the certificate as exportable what that means is that the certificate once it's been uploaded you can actually export it out of the system uh, if you don't want it to be, if you want to make it more secure, so the certificate is not exportable, then leave that unchecked. You can still delete the certificate; it just makes it un, makes it exportable, so you can export it out from the machine. So, a uh, lot of organisations will store the certificate somewhere else, and they do not want it to be exportable because there's no reason normally to export the certificate out. Uh, so we will leave it as it is and not make it exportable. However, we do want to include all extended properties so that all parts of the certificate are are used. So here we just leave, we, we haven't changed anything from the default and we, and we click next. Here we can say, we automatically select which certificate store, you know, we want to, it, it wants it to put to, and by default it would normally put it to the um, personal store but we can actually go here and browse the certificate stores and say, see by default it's personal, but we can browse and put it wherever we want. We can actually manually move it as well once it's in the personal store. We will, I will upload it to a personal store for the moment. Uh, and then I will show you how to move it as well. Click next. And click finish. Now the certificate was imported, the import was successful. So now if we go to the store, which we've got open, which we opened up earlier, the certificate should appear here once we refresh. And there's the certificate that I just uploaded. Uh, as you can see, the certificate shows the valid from and to date uh, and the domain name that's in use. And, and the certificate has appeared there. So with that certificate can be moved into another store. And to move the certificate, it's just a matter of uh, dragging and dropping really. You can drag it from there and drop it into hosting for example and it's, it will now disappear from there and it's appeared there and it's similarly you can move it back uh, back to the personal store. Uh, unless you've got multiple certificates I mean you can leave that in the personal store and it's just as safe to be in the personal store than in any other store. But if you've got multiple certificates, maybe you want to manage it better and you want to move it into the web hosting store. Um, and that is pretty much it for the certificate. Uh, please see the video on how to assign the certificate into a website, etc. Um, thank you very much.